What's up guys, you're watching JM Boy TV and we are back with another reaction. Today we'll be reacting to You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine by Lou Ross. This was suggested by a patron, so you know I had to check it out. I'm not familiar with Lou Ross. If you are a returning viewer to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a ton. There are 100,000 of you guys that watch my videos and return to my videos, but over 88% of you guys are not subscribed. I know it can be easy to forget because my videos just pop up. I do the same thing sometimes. If this is your first time to the channel, I am new to the raw genre, exploring the mini classic rabbit holes, having a blast. If you want to join me on that journey, take a second to scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a video when I post. It helps out the channel tremendously. And if you guys are interested in exclusive content or you want to Sure that I react to your suggestion. Definitely consider checking out the Patreon. The link will be in the description. I have tons of reactions to classic songs that got blocked here from YouTube, songs that I know you guys would enjoy. That being said, let's get right into this video. As long as you live Someone who loves you Tender like I do Wow You'll never find No matter where you search Someone who cares about you The way I Take the end of all time Someone to understand you Like I do You'll never find The rhythm, the rhyme All the magic we shared Just us two Someone who needs you Like I do You'll never see What you found in me You keep searching and searching Your whole life through Oh, I don't wish you no bad luck, baby
Man, what an outstanding song by Lou Rawls. This is one of the greatest things I've ever heard. And what makes this more cool is just watching this video and just seeing the different time that it was. You can just see how different the culture and the people were. Times just really were different back then. All the people in there dancing and vibing out. I love the giant afros. Everybody's just there to have a good time. I absolutely love the bass on this song. Love the drums or whatever was making those like kind of clickety clacking sounds. Love the keyboard in there. At least I think it was a keyboard. Love the horns and the violins on this song. I love how like it had kind of different sections. It had the smooth kind of section and then it had the dance section where the background vocals would come in and they say, you're gonna miss my loving. And that's kind of the part where you break out into dance and it's a slower, chiller vibe on the other parts. I just love how this song is structured. Love that piano in there as well. This song was fantastic from top to bottom. Then of course, Lou Rawls vocals. I don't think I've ever heard a voice like this. His voice really stands out. Super deep and rich, amazing delivery. I think the delivery is everything on this song. Just even the spaces between what he was singing. Like this song is really perfect. The vibe of this song was amazing. And this is what I love about reacting, just finding these gems for the first time. And also pairing it with the visual of just seeing the different era that was at the time. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I love history and this is history to me. Then we get into the lyrics on this song. He said, you'll never find as long as you live, someone who loves you tender like I do. You'll never find no matter where you search, someone who cares about you the way I do. Whoa, I'm not bragging on myself, baby, but I'm the one who loves you and there's no one else, no one else. So basically he's kind of saying like, hey, I'm a special kind of guy. I really care about you. I really love you. I put my all into this and true love is not easy to come across. You will be hard pressed to find anyone like me. And he even emphasizes like, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying what we have is different. What we have is unique and I value and cherish it. And I kind of lean towards believing him on this one. I don't think he's actually trying to be malicious with what he's saying. I think he really feels like what they had is special and it would be hard to find with another person. People go their whole lives looking for true love and sometimes never find it. Next verse she says, you'll never find, it'll take the end of all time. Someone to understand you like I do. You'll never find the rhythm, the rhyme, all the magic we share, just us two. Whoa, I'm not trying to make you stay, baby, but I know somehow, someday, some way, you are, you're gonna miss my loving, you're gonna miss my loving, you're gonna miss, miss my love. So once again, just reiterating, like what we have probably won't be replicated. We really had a lot of chemistry, we had a great thing going, and I'm not even trying to say this to make you stay, but I do believe that at some point, you're gonna realize that it was a mistake to break this off. This is the kind of love that people search the whole world for, and we're gonna let it go over something small, or we're not trying to maintain it. And to an extent, I think he's right. There's always other fish in the sea, but each fish is unique and different. No two people are the same. No two relationships are the same. So even if you find something similar, it probably won't be what we had to that level. So I don't know what the situation was between him and this person. Maybe he made a major mistake and he's trying to gloss over it by saying like, oh, you know, what we had is special. Just give me another chance. Maybe he doesn't deserve another chance and trying to convince her that he does. Or maybe it's just a small problem that they let turn into a big problem that can be easily resolved. And he's kind of saying, look, what we have is special. We need to preserve it. We can get past whatever small thing it was and operate in our true love. But I guess we'll never know the answer to that. Next verse she says, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Late in the midnight hour, baby. When it's cold outside, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss my love. You'll never find another love like mine. Someone who needs you like I do. You'll never see what you found in me. You'll keep searching and searching your whole life through. Whoa, I don't wish you no bad luck, baby. But there's no ifs and buts or maybes. You're gonna miss my loving. I know you're gonna miss my loving. You're gonna miss, miss my love. And then the rest is repeating. So obviously just reiterating what he's saying the whole time, but he's pretty sure that she will not be able to replicate a love like this. And he could be right, he could be wrong. Like he said, people search their whole life through and through and never find it again, but some people do. He's saying, I don't even wish you any bad luck, but I just think what we had was top of the mountain. Man, this was an absolutely amazing song, a masterpiece. Great recommendation from you guys. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys on the flip. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in helping to steer the ship in terms of where the music goes, you'll definitely want to check out that Patreon. You'll be able to get your suggestions to me directly. You can get your favorite deep cuts reacted to or even just your favorite songs. On top of that, you'll have access to exclusive content, songs that got blocked here from YouTube from legendary artists like the Beatles. So if you want your suggestions to be the priority, definitely check out the Patreon at this link. You won't be disappointed. Hope to see you there.